everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And today, we're going to talk about building your business credit. That's right. But we got something new for you. That oxygen credit card, which is a bank card, which helps you get your business credit, which helps you get your checking account and business. But it's virtual. But we're going to talk about it today. And welcome to FOSI Optics. Check. Stop struggling now, gear. Check. Please like subscribe and click the bell below so you get the latest updates now let's get to it all right welcome back today as you know we're going to be talking about business credit your own personal credit a new checking account where anybody can qualify even if you're under check systems but first, as you can see, we're on the YouTube channel page. I want to thank everybody for watching. Thank you for sharing the videos. And of course, I always say we have the join button over here to support the channel. So I'm going to start off with business credit wise. NAV. There'll be a link down below for NAV.com. Within NAV, if you sign up for one of their programs, I'll even have a link down below to a previous video where I actually go into it because they changed their website. The old website used to show how much you could pay monthly and a few other perks. So I'll have a link down below to a previous YouTube video that, that I did. But NAV, they help you get loans, they help you get business credit cards, they help you with your Experian TransUnion business credit scores or your business credit files and also if you get the upper tier package like $29.95 or $39.95 a month, they report to your business credit file. So this actually helps you out all the way around in the long term. And speaking of business credit, everybody knows the ones you start with. The Quill, the Granger, the Uline. Okay, everybody knows that standard issue, so I won't get into that. You can search the channel and there's several videos on how to start that out. So you don't have to do anything special there. Now, the other thing is, I wanted to get into this new company that you guys are going to be hearing a lot about. They're not really new, actually, and I'm going to show you why when I'm saying they're not new. They're called Oxygen. And for all you who do not live on the West Coast or who may have not heard of TechCrunch, TechCrunch Disrupt is in San Francisco Bay Area and a lot of tech companies out there are in their Disrupt San Francisco conference and Oxygen was there in 2018 and because I subscribe to TechCrunch uh, Twitter and on Facebook I get these little interviews and things that come up at the time so when this guy first came out I'm gonna let you hear this video and you can see what he was talking about. This is two years ago about oxygen. So oxygen is actually banking and lending for the gig economy or freelancers uh, in general. So the idea is kind of like as a freelancer, you don't have a full time fixed income coming in every month. So lenders and banks, they see this as like a super high risky borrower because there is no kind of reliable income for you. So with auction, actually, instead of relying only on the bureau's data or, and your FICO score, it actually analyze your kind of personal financials, uh, bank account transactions, uh, plus the credit report from the bureau. And using those two sides of the equation, then we are able to extend credit at a fair price uh, for freelancers. There's a regulatory aspect to any kind of finance. So how do you how do you deal with the fact that? You're not a conventional bank. Are you partnering with other banks? And honestly, actually, we're like even taking office hours at the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco, and we're working like with like uh, many other banks, including our investors, even one of the big banks in the in the U.S. But we are actually operating as a challenger bank on top of a federally chartered bank, uh, Evolve Bank and Trust. That's how we are able to operate in 50 states as a as an actual uh, with all these banking services. And on the compliance aggregation, actually, honestly, I was kind of also so wary of that side of the equation but honestly actually what the government is looking for is that those guys are just making sure that nobody is gonna get screwed over follow like a deceptive scam or something like this so as long as you're like communicating uh, how much you're paying how much we're giving you money like the government is like super happy to even like find creative ways to actually unlock 
fair credit. See what I'm talking about? So if these guys had a way that you could have invested money with them, which you could have if you're an investor, two years ago, somebody would have invested with these guys. These guys now have come out. They have their own card. I'm going to show you this. They've come out where they, it's basically, in my opinion, this is what it is. It's almost like a prepaid card because you have to upload money to it. Whether you upload money by transferring money from a bank to their bank, they give you a routing number, they give you an account number, you can have money ACH'd into this account, you get a debit card with the Visa logo, just like a normal bank, and it has the contactless type of card. So uh, you don't have to actually swipe. You don't have to put it in the back, but it, the contact list is coming out where you just hover your card above it. Your card will work. Some of you might already have that. And that's the kind of thing that they are doing. Their website, Oxygen, as you can see I'm on right now, this is like kind of bizarre to me. But quite frankly, uh, it's kind of funny as well because they're trying to illustrate that everybody in this gig economy can now bank with them. But quite frankly, even if you have Serve, which is one of my cards that I've told people about, a prepaid card that doesn't charge fees, um, which is by Amex, they um, do the same thing. I mean, they give you a bank account. You can send money up there. You can send money down. Where Oxygen comes out different is that they're accepting people, which already a prepaid card does this, like Serve. It doesn't matter what your banking situation is. Oxygen's trying to go one step further. They're trying to turn it into a business banking account where they will give you a business banking account because you're a freelancer, but it's no different than any other bank. You're going to need your articles of incorporation. If you don't have that, you're going to need a business license. If you don't have that, you're going to need some other business criteria and you're going to have to have an EIN number. And it would be best if you had a business address. So therefore, if you are at home and you don't want to use your home address, as all of you know, and anybody knew, you get Opus Virtual Office. It's $99 a month. You get a fax number, a business fax number, a business phone number. You get a receptionist can answer your phone and forward the phone number to you. You also get the voicemail with that. Plus other perks. It's actually a commercial office building. So if you were in a city... You could actually meet with people and meet at Opus Virtual Office. So get your Opus Virtual Office right now. There's a link down below. You can sign up. And then back to Oxygen, once you have all your ducks in a row, where you have your EIN number, where you have your business address, where you have your uh, LLC name or corporation name, and you need the paperwork because you have to upload it via the app, this is not you don't sign up here so I'll scroll down the page they do a bunch of talk but you can always see get the app so I will have a link down below for the oxygen app but you will need to be on your cell phone okay get on your cell phone and as you can see here here are the cards and they have two notice they have a business and they have a debit you can upload and by the way you can also upload checks meaning take a picture capture upload all right that feature may be out by the time you see this video more than likely it's out um what else can we talk about oh the most important that you're gonna like business credit so here you are now just like a paypal just like a few other companies do if you have money running through them then they can give you lines of credit or loans and this is what Oxygen is going to be attempting to do. You heard the guy two years ago say they're going to run your credit score and then go by how much money you're putting in, things like that. And that's like, an, that's like a PayPal business credit where they say, okay, we know the guy has $5,000 a month coming through, so we can give the person a $4,000, $5,000 line of credit or a loan. And we know because the money's coming through that we can siphon off a little bit of the funds. I don't know if they're going to go that far, but at least they know they can get money 
coming back to them because they see that you're depositing X amount of dollars in the account. So now you can have a business credit with oxygen. That is the tipping point for oxygen. If they can come through on this business credit side and give people lines of credit or business loans, they're going to blow this out of the water because it's not going to be based on how long you've been in business for a year or two. Most of the time, now that we're in this pandemic situation, your credit, your personal credit score and your business credit is going to matter a lot to the normal line of credits for business that are given. So it's going to matter a, a hell of a lot right now. So now they're looking at your credit, your personal credit score, not oxygen, the normal lenders. They're sitting there going, you know what? Let's see if the guy has a 680 and up. Let's see if he has not had a late payment for like three years. Let's also make sure uh, that he has business credit and we can go see Dun and Bradstreet, see their Paydex number. We can see their Ex Equifax business. Let's go look at all this stuff and see if we're going to lend these guys money. Oxygen is trying to disrupt the industry and say, you know what? We're not going all that route. We know these guys are putting in $5,000 per month. We can see it uploaded or coming in on the ACH. We can see them cashing the check. Okay, we'll give them a loan. That's what Oxygen says they're going to do. You have to be in here for 90 days, though. You have to be signed up with 90 days minimum, and you know what's going to happen. They're seasoning you, okay? You're going to have to have money going in and out of this account. Get seasoned before they're going to give you lines of credit. You can count on it. Nobody's going to give you line of credit because you got an account and you're just sitting there going, okay, here's 50 bucks. That ain't going to work. Just like a normal bank and a normal banking relationship, you have to go into the bank. You have to deposit money. In fact, you might even want to sit down occasionally and speak to representatives there so they know who you are and you have a business banking relationship because that's how you get better loans better interest, favoritism, and you're conducting business and you act like you're conducting business. You ain't in there playing games, all right? So anyhow, that's it in a nutshell for Oxygen that can help you get your business line of credit. And as you can see here, they're just talking about, once again, ready to fly. Go to Google or the Apple, Play, uh, Apple stores and get your Oxygen app. And like I said, down below, I have the link for Oxygen, okay? So you can click there, and that's pretty much with oxygen, but I'm going to keep going because here we go is an article where they're talking about, this is from t July 29, 2019, a year ago, banking and credit freelancers. So again, they're calling it freelancers. It's the gig economy, and a lot of millions of people are freelancers, and you cannot get a loan. Why? Because you're sit they're asking you for tax returns. For two, three, four years. For, for, for starters. They're asking you, when did you start your LLC? Right? And sometimes if you don't say it's a year or two years is the thing about now. It's two years. They like to see you in business and showing that you've had great credit for the whole time on your business side. Now, all of a sudden, that's going to be a problem. Right? If you've only started, you don't have a chance. But, the, but Oxygen is saying, again, 90 days. We can start thinking about giving you some sort of lines of credit or loan, which is going to be an awesome game changer if this is legit. So let's get started, ladies and gentlemen, with this. And hopefully this can help you out. And I didn't go to it, but let me go to our StopStrugglingNow.com website. We got to go over there. And if anybody wants to what I'll call a shortcut, okay? The reason why I call it a shortcut is it's a business credit builder program and it is $1875 one time fee or two payments of $997. It's at the bottom of this page. I'll have a link to the StopStrugglingNow.com website and I'll just go down here to the bottom and see right here you can order up whichever way you want to go. And the bottom line to the story is this is all automated. It is online. So you're going to go at your own pace. Even if you don't know how to start an LLC or start your business credit off, 
this is a program that you use online take your own time to learn and do so if you want to find out if your business name is going to be legitimate where down the line, like in other words, you're not saying your company name is Cannabis 101 LLC. That's going to limit to what type of funding you can get because cannabis is on the no-go zone. All right. If you say I'm going to be gambling 101 limited, you're not going to be able to get certain a lot of loans for 90 percent. You're out the door already. You're going to be denied straight off of your name. EIN. Even though I've had videos, you go to the IRS.com, get an EIN number, EIN number there. But if you don't want to do that in the software, it helps you get that. It checks your business address credibility for lenders as well. Basically, you want a commercial address. You do not want UPS store or mailbox. You don't want a virtual mailbox that's just somebody's random mailbox center. You don't want that. That is not a commercial location. A commercial location is where there's offices, okay, where there's a conference room. That's a business location. If you don't have offices in a conference room, that is not going to work for commercial loans, okay? So, therefore, that's why you do Opus Virtual Office and you pick a office location, no matter where you want it, but that it has to be in the state where your LLC is. That would be the recommendation. Okay, business phone number, business address, all this is checked out. Okay, if you need help with merchant accounts, anybody can help you with that. Business credit report and score training is in there. And then you get on to starter vendors, which is what we've always mentioned. Okay, the, the crown uh, office supplies. Okay, so uh, the, the uh, I'm trying to think, who else am I missing for the office supplies? Well, I can't remember off the top of my head everybody, but... All I'm trying to say is there's many places that you can start getting credit. And when you're in business, instead of going down to Staples or Office Depot or any place else, go online and say, you know what, maybe I should get a net 30 with these other companies. And at least you can start building your credit. And the software that you're paying for that's online, it makes you go through each step. So you start with the vendors. Once you complete that, then it says, okay, then you're going to be eligible to get gas cards. Then you're going to be eligible to get business credit cards. It takes you step by step. And yes, it's going to take you nine months to a year. And while you're doing that nine months to a year, you build your personal credit or get it fixed up. So your credit score is going to be in the 700s or around 700, preferably 720, 740, 750, somewhere between 720 and up is the preferred choice but if you can't make it there there are still lenders that will give it to you if you have a 680 credit score you just can't have late payments for like five years or something or three years something of this nature but anyhow this is a walkthrough and you have somebody to talk to that's the bonus that we have here you can call up and say hey this is what I'm thinking of doing and you have that for a year once you start, you have that for a year. So you're not out there on your own just doing some software. All right? You can talk to people, whether you speak Spanish fluently or English fluently. Either way, that's a bonus feature. And other things that come up is when you're already rolling, you're sitting there saying, well, I make 150000 a year. My business makes 500000 a year. Well, you can get loans for that because that's going to be based on your revenue. And as long as they say, okay, you've been in business how long? Two years. Great. Okay, you have tax documentation, and let's see your bank statements. Done. You will get a loan. Now, don't ask me how much. It could be 20 grand. It could be 50. It could be 60. It could be lines of credit. There's variables because there's different lenders, and in COVID-19, you just never know what's going to happen because it kind of shrink it down and make things a little more stringent because they know people are... Uh, losing jobs they know businesses are going out of business so they don't want to loan to somebody that's going to be risky so just keep that in mind and the software just keeps going with this and it helps you out so you even if you had like inventory assets you can borrow against those there's all kind of things that you can do which they call collateral lending you can do that all right so here's the five years that you have for finance officer support Pretty simple. 
If you need a little help and say, hey, you know what, here's what I got, here's my Paydex score, here's what I have on my Equifax or TransUnion business file, do you think I can apply for some certain loan? The software will help you based on your files. But if you want to talk to somebody, they can help you. And if you want to talk to somebody and say, hey, you know what, what is it going to take for me to get $100,000 in financing, then they'll tell you, this is what you need to do. It's simple. So it's less than $2,000, and this is how you can get into the game and do it at your own pace. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. And with all that said, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And I know it's hard out here. This is why you have to do the two-prong credit attack. Get your business right. Get your personal right. And if you don't have a business yet, get in the game. You might as well monetize yourself and make whatever you do a business. This is the golden era. Everything in tech means that you could be in business as long as you have an Instagram, a Snapchat, something that you're going out here promoting and telling people to buy something or go to links or do anything like that. You are officially in business and all you have to do is make it an LLC and now the microphone that you buy that I have to upgrade to. I got to upgrade now, ladies and gentlemen, because of the last live. I was having some feedback. That's going to be a tax write off. It's simple. Things that you're going to buy for what you need. Lighting. Let's say you get an O-ring. Light. 50 bucks. It's a write off. You're going to buy it anyhow. But why not say, hey, you know what, my business made 5000 last year. And then you're going to say, you know what, that O-ring, $50 write-off. That microphone, $60 write-off. The sunglasses that I bought for my promotions. The clothes that I'm uh, buying. Deductible. Right? Stop struggling now gear. Deductible. Based on the profit I receive, I can deduct the cost of that. You, you now have turned into a business. If you go out here and you're not a business and you buy t-shirts, you don't get to write that off. You buy a microphone, you don't get to write that off. You buy a laptop, you don't get to write that off. You buy software, you don't get to write that off. None of that. But if you're in business, I get to write all of it off. When I pay monthly for uh, Microsoft products, write off. We're in business. When you go on a trip, write off. All I'm trying to say is get in the game. Get your business, get your LLC started, go to the Secretary of State, almost all can do it online. And with all that said, keep your head up, keep moving, and I'm out.